Hello friends, so we will continue our discussion with uh, atomic structure and uh, previously we discussed about uh, the basic concepts related to Bohr's atomic model related to electronic configuration, atomic number, mass number, the wave nature of electron and the de Broglie hypothesis in the previous videos. So here we'll be discussing about another important concept again which is related to the movement of electron around the nucleus an explanation related to determining the exact not exactly the exact location of the electron but related to pinpointing the location of the electron moving around the nucleus so it is all related to the movement of electrons around the nucleus so here it is the heisenberg uncertainty principle so before we discuss uh, let us just have a quick look at uh, de broglie hypothesis so we, we know where it is exactly coming from this whole thing Heisen heisenberg uncertainty principle so according to de broglie hypothesis matter it exhibits both wave-like and particle-like characteristics so according to that approach an electron which is orbiting around the nucleus it behaves like a stationary wave okay an electron orbiting around the nucleus it behaves like a stationary wave and the wavelength of that stationary wave the integral multiple of that wavelength is equal to the circumference of the circular orbit now <clears throat> the problem with this approach which is called as the wave nature of electron that is the electron moving around the nucleus it behaves as a wave so the problem with this approach is that how can a position of uh, the position of the wave be specified you know because wave extend extends in space we cannot de determine the location of the wave accurately you know how can we precisely define the location of the wave so in order to solve this problem to answer this question the heisenberg uncertainty principle it came into play to locate an electron taking into account its wave-like properties the dual nature of electron taking into account both matter-like and wave-like particle-like and wave-like properties so according to heisenberg uncertainty principle uh, which can be stated as it is impossible to determine simultaneously or to know simultaneously the momentum of a particle or the electron which is mass multiplied with velocity and the position of the particle in this case which is the electron with certainty okay so it is impossible to determine at the same time both the momentum and position of a particle with certainty so the mathematical explanation for HUP or Heisenberg uncertainty principle it can be expressed mathematically as the product of the uncertainties in measurement of location and momentum when multiplied together that value will always be greater than h by 4 pi where h is Planck's constant and pi is the mathematical pi so delta x delta p is always greater than h by 4 pi where delta x is the uncertainty in measurement of position and delta p is the uncertainty in measurement of the momentum of the particle so when this whole concept is applied in case of electrons moving around the nucleus in that case what we can determine what we can conclude is that even when the conditions for the measurement of position and momentum they are the most favorable the best measurement that we can do so that we are assured that our calculations are precise the best measurement that we can have 
even in that case we can never determine both the position and momentum with precise or accurate results okay the product of both the uncertainties can never be less than h by 4 pi it can be equal to or greater than h by 4 pi okay so <clears throat> you can understand it in this way suppose we keep only delta x on the left hand side and bring delta p to the denominator h by 4 pi by delta p so when delta p will increase uh, delta p will decrease the value of delta x will increase because delta p will mean the denominator so we can say that an increase in the uncertainty of measurement or uh, of the momentum can lead to a decrease in the uncertainty or measurement of position and when the uncertainty in measurement of position increases the uncertainty in measurement of momentum decreases so it has a inverse relationship okay opposite relationship we can never do both the things with precise measurements at the same time we can never get both the results favorable at the same time if we determine the precise uh, value of the position then there will be the results of the the momentum measurement they will be not that precise and if we do the momentum measurement in a precise way then the measurements related to position will not be precise we can never do both the things uh, in a precise manner at the same time one thing will be precise the other one will not be okay so if the position measurements is precise the momentum measurement will not be precise and if the momentum measurement is precise then the position measurements will not be precise so that thing when we express in a mathematical way the product of these uncertainties will always be greater than h by 4 pi okay so if we apply this HUP or Heisenberg uncertainty principle to the hydrogen atom which is generally uh, the, forms the basis of the explanation as per Bohr's theory or de Broglie hypothesis the the electron it does not orbit around the nucleus in a fixed well-defined path okay because we can never measure we can never uh, determine the exact location that is the position of the electron it means that according to Bohr's theory that the electrons they revolve around the nucleus in well-defined circular orbits that is not correct because if we could have exactly or precisely determined the location or the position of the electron then this HUP Heisenberg uncertainty principle will be false if HUP is false then Bohr's theory is uh, correct but if HUP is right Bohr's theory is wrong okay so and when if Bohr's theory is right then all the other things de Broglie hypothesis and all those dual nature of electron it all goes wayward it all becomes wrong so there is something wrong with Bohr's approach related to the exact location of the electrons around the nucleus the movement of the movement of electrons around the nucleus so if HUP is correct Heisenberg uncertainty principle is correct then Bohr's theory is wrong Bohr's theory is wrong with respect to the movement of electrons around the nucleus in well-defined circular orbits that part is wrong okay so so this is a violation of the uncertainty principle as per Bohr's theory so from this we can conclude that it is very much difficult to determine the exact location of the electron the position of the electron at any given point of time with accurate results or in a precise manner okay or the electrons which orbit around the nucleus in well-defined circular orbits that part of Bohr's theory is wrong okay so this is all about Heisenberg uncertainty principle and uh, we applied it with uh, to the hydrogen atom related to the movement of electrons. 
so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to engineering science and technology have a great day thank you very much